welcome to the recorded case notes of Donald August versus The Land of Flowers, a fiction podcast about a 12-year-old boy and a supernatural saw palm in suburban Florida. We have a winner for our giveaway contest! Lacey left a review, posted on her Instagram, and DM'd us compliments. Now that is how you make an independent podcast feel the love, people. Lacey, you're the best. Expect our tote bag in the mail soon. Okay, now for the finale. Episode 5, The Root of the Problem. Donnie! Step away from the culprit! Oh, Jesus. Donnie! No, Lex! We have to do something! We have to save the house! Donald August caused this problem, and he's gonna fix it! Give me that recorder! Hey, Donnie, no! Do not go in there! Alexa, Donnie? Why is Donnie going inside? Donnie! No, Donnie, it's not safe in there! Donnie! (sighs) Donald August entered the perp's hideout and found that, at this point, it would be more accurate to say that the hideout swallowed Donald August. He would have to scrape his way through a sea of moss and, uh, and needles to even get through to where the couch once was. What would compel a tree to stand this tall? Sure, everyone wants to get up to the next rung, but who wants to jump over the whole ladder? Donnie, ow! Wow, this stuff is hard to walk around. I think that's a myrtle oak, but watch out for the yucca. Behind you! It scratched up my legs a little bit earlier. I wasn't expecting to trek through the Everglades when I put on shorts today. Donnie, what are you even going to do? It's easy, Lex. It's all because of this palm plant. We just have to get to the root of the problem. The root. Donnie! A pun is not a solution! Donald August Mund, you stop right now. It's dangerous in here. The foundation is sinking the more you move. We need to leave now. I didn't want to have to do this, but as your summer nanny, I demand that you submit to my authority and get over here right now. Please. Donnie! (sighs) Okay. Okay. Uncle Rowan, Lex, this is... This is the season finale. Don't you see? We've gotten ourselves deep in trouble, but... There's... But there's no problem that we can't sleuth our way out of. If we just... Donnie, that root! You're going to trip if you keep running it... And there he goes. Ow! 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 This isn't supposed to happen. This is supposed to be the season finale! Donald August was going to... I'm gonna... But we have... If we don't, then Uncle Rowan's house... Donald August? Donnie? Oh, ow, hold still. Ow, 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 ow. Let me look at it. Ooh, his ankle does not look... I'm gonna pick you up now, okay, Donnie? Just like it when you were little. Try not to move, okay? I know, I know, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, little man. Look, I'm okay, you're okay. I got you, I'm right here, so let's go back the way we came in. Miss Alexa, he dropped his, uh, recorder, and it looks like something else fell out of his trench coat pocket when he fell. I got the recorder, but, uh, oh, that's a lot of seeds on the ground. It's, it's all of them. All of the seeds fell out, you'll never... I'll never be able to find all of them in this, between all the vines and stuff. Oh, now Uncle Rowan's house is extra destroyed. Hey, hey, look at me. Oh, no. Hey, I'm still here. But, but your house. My house was, uh, already something of a run-down joint anyway. But it was yours. And now it's the swamps. I can find another place to live. It's no big deal, boss. You leave it to me. I promise. So long as we're safe, that's all that matters. But your flat screen TV? Ooh, uh, yeah, now that you mention it, yeah, that, that's gonna sting. That's gonna sting. But it's just a thing, and things can be replaced. Uh, Mr. Mund, Donnie, I I really don't want to break up the moment here, but I think we should back away from the house, uh, the tree... The tree house? It might be huge, but based on what we've seen, that doesn't mean it's done growing yet, and who knows what those other seeds are capable of. 
Did you two have something to do with my living room's brand new swamp? Um, Mr. Mund, sir? What kind of insurance do you have? Not anything specifically covering swamps growing through my house. Oh, my ankle! Oh, for shame! Oh boy, is that tree getting taller? We better run to the curb. Okay, Donnie, I'm gonna put you down now. Can you stand? Sort of. My ankle really hurts. It's already kind of swollen, kind of blue. Maybe we should all just sit down for now. I need to call my... I don't actually know. Uh, my insurance guy. Probably, yeah. Or, I guess the police? Or, my sister, probably. Yeah, I should call my sister first. Oh no, not my mom. Uh, yeah, I'll do her last, actually. I, um... I can watch Donnie while you go make your calls. Jesus, Donnie. You really scared me back there. Why? Because if I die, you don't get paid? No! Because if you died, it would... It would really suck. You don't really care. You said that I'm mean. (sighs) Donnie, listen. People can love mean people. But you aren't mean. I mean, you can be mean, you've definitely been mean, but that doesn't mean that you are mean. You know what I mean? Uh, no. That probably wasn't the best way to phrase it. Look, what I was trying to say with the librarian is that sometimes you get caught up in what you're doing and you don't really listen to what other people are saying or what they want. What do you mean? I'm Donald August. All I do is observe, and listening is just another form of observation. See, that's what I mean. You're caught up in being Donald August, and there's all these rules you have to follow when you're Donald August, and you expect everyone around you to follow those rules, too. But that's not fair, Donnie. Not everyone knows the rules, and definitely not everyone agreed to the rules. But you know them. You figured them out right away. Yeah, maybe I did, but... That's because I listened to you. And if you don't want people to think you're mean, then you need to listen to them too. All right, all right, I get it. Listen, I'm listening. You can still talk too, just listen to people and talk to them. Okay, phew. And I'm sorry, Lex. I'm sorry that I made you my assistant in a game you didn't want to play in the first place. Well, it ended up being pretty fun but also terrifying. I think we can call it even. I do have one final request of you, as my assistant. Jesus. What is it, Donnie? That you accept a promotion. What? Well, it's clear that you've gone above and beyond the duties of a private investigator's assistant. You were the one that was literally driving the investigation for the last few days. I think it's time you took the oath. Another assistant's oath? No, the oath. If you can't even take the oath seriously, then you're going to run into some serious trouble as an investigator down the line. The oath, huh? What do I need to do? Well, for starters, you're going to have to repeat after me. I have to repeat after you? Not that part, okay? Starting now. Okay. I swear on my honor and my blood. I swear on my honor and my blood. Patience, Donald August. She's a wild card. Always has been. It's why she'll be fundamental in solving future mysteries. It's not up to you how she does the oath. I swear on my honor and my blood. I swear on my honor and my blood. To uphold the code of the private investigators. To uphold the code of the private investigator. To find mysteries, not make them. To find mysteries, not make them. And to look at the world with new eyes every day and to look at the world with new eyes every day. Great! You're in! You're a P.I. Am I supposed to feel any different? No. You were as good as a real P.I. the whole time. Aw, Donnie. <clears throat> Donald August, I mean. Aw, Lex. Alexa? Madame L? Big L? I'll stick with Lex. Thanks. Now what about me, Donnie? Why didn't I ever get to take the oath? I mean... I guess you can if you want, Uncle Rowan, but I won't lie. I see you in more of a chief or dispatch role if you can't be the bartender anymore. 
Well, looks like I got an office to deploy it to already. Oh, I called Dr. Eidelman. Dr. Eidelman? Donnie's pediatrician. She said she'd been surprised you hadn't had any accidents for so long. Your ankle looks sprained to me, bud, but, uh, you still need to go in and get examined. Yes! Dr. Edelman loves to hear about my PI work. I have to stay here to try and explain everything to the police, so your mother is leaving work early to take you. Oh, no. Does she sound mad? Well, Donnie, uh, I recommend you milk the injury thing. And Lex, uh, I think you might want to just head out before she gets here. Yes. Yes, I do. And Donnie... Maybe for the best if you turn that recorder off. You won't want to play this part back for fun. Oh, Lord, the humanity. I feel like I've been stabbed with a knife of a thousand blades. There's no getting this bullet out of me. No, leave it in. I let it scar up. Chicks dig scars. All right, boss. That looks like it's Lex's car pulling into the parking lot. Lex, 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 Lex. Can't wait to get rid of me, huh? No, but I can't wait for you to play golf with your buddies. We both get to see friends. I mean, our other friends. You're still my best friend, Uncle Rowan. I'm flattered, Donnie, but it's like your friend Evelyn said when she was here the other day. Best friend is a tear, not one person. Hi, Mr. Mund. Cool tie. Glad to see you're all moved in. Well, after the whole swamp repossessed my house and everything I have in it fiasco, there wasn't that much I had to move. It's a good thing Donnie had such a stockpile of my spare things here. Right. Have you, uh, been back to visit? Not since the paperwork went through. What paperwork? You didn't know? Donnie told me your aunt worked at the State Environmental Protection Department, that they had already declared the Library a Nature Preservation. I called her last week and the state made my house an official nature preserve. There's a lot of uh, paperwork with the HOA, since it's right in the middle of where they were planning on building a mall. No Applebee's for us. No settling on flavorless food, right? That's right, Donnie. No flavorless food for us. Oh, and that reminds me, I need to put our cereal bowls in the dishwasher before I go. Hi, Donnie. Whoa, are you still investigating, despite doctor's orders? You're still recording. Crime doesn't stop just because I'm on crutches. But crime does sit down to talk with me now because it's hard to hold the recorder and the crutches at the same time. Also, it's just fun recording stuff. We can't get him to stop. Well, we couldn't. His mom managed to negotiate an extra hour of screen time for him if he just recorded her less. Did he record something she didn't want him to? He pointed out how much she curses and uh, used the recordings as evidence. I thought it was hilarious, but then he did the same thing with me and... Well, we're cleaning up our language now but we realized it might not be the best if there's a complete record of everything we say. Evie and me were playing Abolish Corporate Power by using the court system, and she told me how to properly use evidence. She also said that the game is really more of a fantasy and that revolution is more practical way for people like us to gain power, but that it's fun to play pretend anyway. I like that girl. She's a little scary, but I like her. Wait, Evie was here? Sure, Lex. You're not my only friend. Watch it, bud. Who's to say I'm not only here to collect a check from your mom? The fact that you called her to ask if there were any upcoming days you'd need to babysit, and then when she said no, you volunteered to do it for half price. Well, I guess. Wait, how did you know that? An investigator is always listening. You should know that by now. I'll leave you kids to your work. Don't kill each other while I'm gone. I'd never hear the end of it. Bye, Mr. Mund. Bye, Uncle Rowan. All right, Donald August, what's on the docket for today? Mysterious figures exchanging envelopes in the night? Underground ring of exotic animal smugglers? Or is it finally time we get to those aliens I've been trying to tell you about? I've told you before, Lex, no aliens. All right, all right. But still, what mystery awaits us? Well, I was thinking, and we don't have to do it if you don't want to, but since I have the crutches, which are basically extra feet, I was thinking maybe we could be centaurs. Centaurs? Like in the Evergrey series? Like in the Evergrey series. I read the first, second, and third, and fourth books in one week. They're really good. Like, really good. I mean, in book two, when Thoroughfang finds out that the Emerald Army is actually approaching from the south, and what her scouts saw was just machinist projection. And then she realizes that the only way to protect her people is to destroy the Crystal Gate, even though it means she and her family will be shunned from the free pastures forever? I know, it's so good, right? 
It might actually be one of the best things I've ever read. Of course we can be centaurs. I'll let you in on a secret. What? When we were investigating, there was a part of me that was thinking I was like a centaur then, too. No wonder you're so quick on your feet. You had four of them. It's all starting to come together. Are we still going to be investigating something as centaurs? I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. It's really more that this is the only voice I know how to do. Oh, Lex, um, since the summer is almost over, it's your recorder, so... Oh, um, you know, that's okay, Donnie. I think you should keep it for now. But I might never see you again. You'll be a freshman next year after eighth grade. I'll be a senior. You can give it back to me at school before I graduate. Does this mean we might get to investigate mysteries or play centaurs at school? Maybe outside of school hours. During school, that's a negative. What? Why can't we play during school hours? Well, Donald August, that is one mystery you're going to have to solve for yourself. Thank you so much for listening to all five episodes of Donald August vs. The Land of Flowers. As you've heard, this entire show is independently made. It was produced by me, Emily Donovan. It was co-written by me and Benjamin Kearns. It was voiced by Dave Cutler and Katie Cutler, and music is by Dylan Brichette. You can find out more about us and find links to keep up with us on social media on our website, donaldaugustpod.card.co. That's donaldaugustpod.card.co. If you want to help keep the show on the air, you could donate a few dollars to our PayPal. That's paypal.me slash donaldaugustpod. It's just been such a pleasure sharing this project with you all. So if you've enjoyed the show, tell a friend. Spread the word. Okay, that's it, folks. See ya.